what's the difference between a failed component and the cause of failure? So typically the cause of failure happens for a bunch of different reasons. It could be a power spike. It could be power failure. It could be your air filter. It could be a failed component. So you have to properly diagnose the system. You have to go through a sequence of events of how the system turns on. And when it stops, that's where you find the problem typically. So when it comes to troubleshooting a furnace, for example, the thermostat tells the system to turn on then you start your ignition process. After that thermostat sends that signal, your inducer fan starts spinning. You pull a negative pressure, which triggers the pressure switch saying that you're properly venting exhaust gases. And then your spark ignition or your HSI sparks up and then the gas valve releases the gas causing the flame. Shortly after that, the blower motor kicks on and then you're blowing air across the hot heat exchanger, giving you heat in the house. (music) 